Hello everyone and welcome Woody Woods to our town. Welcome to Hawkspire, our small city. And this is just an open field. Oh wait, yeah, okay. There's a complete forest now. <laughs> I've all about it. What is it building? Welcome to our city in City Skylines, uh, where today we need to build a lot of houses. We need to go to the 2600 citizens and there is a very high demand for a residential zone. So let's get to it. Okay, let's see. I think I want to build in this direction. And there is a little house here, which I would like to connect this way. But what I also want to do is have some nice and curvy roads. Let's not destroy all that. That won't be a good thing for now. I think let's do it this way. And let's come in then to here. And let's have just a road from here going to here. Something like this. I want to try and optimize the spatial use as much as I can. But I'd like to have some curves, etc. as well. Because I, well, it's better. No, let's do it over here. Oh well. There's an anti-snap button. Luckily. So you can just do stuff like this. Yeah, okay. Oh, let's put the snap on again. And do it that way. Okay, from here I think we also... Well, we could just make some nice fins like this. A few of them as well. A few more of them. Um, let's just go there. Let's from here go... There and from here, go here and there. Just connect them up that way. Yeah. And from here, we can go all the way over there. Oh, we got free form. Okay. okay. Form is a little better for these kinds of stuff. Um, I can just do it this way and connect them up here. We might have a road here eventually, so... And for some inner connections, let's go there. These inner connections are really important to have a city which is very well connected, I've noticed. Well, actually I know, because I... For my study, I do civil engineering with a specialization of roads. Roads and Mobility, for Traffic and Mobility is the complete name. So I got a nice overview in my head of how traffic should work. And I'm trying to do that in the game as well, as best as I can. But sometimes I get it wrong. And I got it wrong in my first playthrough of the game a lot. Let's see, let's head them up to here. Like that. And now for the really finicky stuff, let's do it this way. Have some of this here. This one will be green. This one can be blue. And these need to be blue. These need to be blue as well. And these need to be green. Like that. Yeah, some nice curvy roads. I guess we also can call that a district. Oh, they almost got water for all. And now they all have water. <coughs> all have water. <coughs> Better. Is the cherry district still within these parameters? I guess it is. Maybe a little further over here. Like that. What's this area like? Is that all industry? Not all, but most of it. Yeah. Good enough. Wow, a lot of people are coming in fast. Let's check the parks. We can make a new park over here. Right along here. Oh wow, that's a big one. That one does not. Let's do a basketball court. Just like that. 
Aha, nearly cost the board. I think we also would need a new elementary school here. I think this one is full. Oh no, it's not. It's not? Well, apparently, we're good. Okay. That's better than I expected. So this should, I guess, take us to the 30 or the 2600 citizens. And fast, I guess. Our industry is going good. Our residential is taken care of. Our shops are upgrading. And we have a third farm with goods limited. Unlimited. Wait, this is general purpose industry. That's the wrong one. Let's have it small, like that. Chains up. Well, yeah. Let's just complete this whole road. Convert the whole roads into farm districts. We can have the people as well, like this. It doesn't really matter. Cherry district is just expanding. Oh, and this is a nice one. Already sliced fruit. Wait, this is the same one as this one. Oh, this one is a little more modern. Nice. This is a nice building. Well, it looks like stuff is going fine. How's our power doing? Still good? It looks like we can delete a lot of power lines. Because the green squares are all covered, so we just need it to there. Nice, nice. Got some farms building. Got people moving in. Stuff is good. Stuff is good. Let's have one of these very large parks here. Wow, it will cost 5,000. It'll be worth it, I guess. What is it? A park with trees. Well, it is a nice park, I have to say. Now the only thing it needs is people. Visiting. Got some more. More people going in. This one is almost full. Got another tree plaza, I guess. First tree friends, LTD. And more trees, I guess. Ah, uh, small ones. Very small ones. We've got some free area over here. There's only one starting to pollute here, or at least... Oh, it's a timber industry, so that's... Pellet fuels. I guess that one is... Oh, I saw garbage. Uh-oh, there is a garbage problem, apparently. Yeah, there's a garbage problem over there. That means we need to increase our capacity on our landfill side. We just can increase the budgets. Then they will have more trucks available to pick up the trash. You can see them rolling out. There we go. One, two. And third one. Apparently moved out already. Oh well. Fresh is good. We got a drugstore here abandoned. We need to destroy these on, a, on our own. Oh well. Oh, I've got some more citizens here. Or some commercial. With some problems. Yeah, some more crash problems, but these should be taken care of soon. Oh, it also looks like our industry here is uh, developing nicely. Got some more fruits for all. Mary's livestock, or oh, our first livestock. Let's see how our industry is doing with the budget, actually. Um, we've got 1,000 of the normal level 1 industry. And farming and forestry is taking up almost just as good. The farming is expanding rapidly now. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, we have some water problems. Oh, we have a lot of water problems. Can we still increase the budget? Oh, we can. That should do it. And up we go. 
and there's the water. Oh, we have fire in the forest. Firefighters are on their way. There they are. Are they in time? Are they in time? There are three coming here. Woohoo! Okay, they've got it under control. Looks like they saved it. Yeah, they did. House across the street is upgrading. Well, I wouldn't like living here. There's a lot of woods. A lot of nice scenery at the other side of the road. Oh, this one is solar panel. And then a swimming pool in the back. Wow, this is a luxurious house. The hillside residence. Four or five households available. Or one household available. I wouldn't mind living there. I'm hearing people upgrading. We've got the money rolling in, but not really a lot to do with it. We have power problems. I guess we need to do something with the power. And we need some more wind turbines. Let's plop down three, I guess, for now. 74 megawatts available, 55 used. Good enough. Oh, we got to hear some more livestock. We've got some pigs. Mary's livestock. Ah, funny to see you can see them walking around there. He should also be a livestock here. Yeah, it's too small actually, I think, to do something like this. I guess. Here we have an orn yard. Here we have some green lands. You are making a lot of noise, you know. We've got a nice fruit press here. Or juice press with... I guess these are solar panels? Yeah, they should be solar panels. Only the sun is over there. Oh, see your wind turbines there. A little out of focus, but... Looking good. Looking very good. Big shed here. With no people working here yet. Can they find the people to work there? That's the big question, of course. Mm, still nothing. Oh, and we made it to the boom town. We've got now 2600 people. We have an extra area. We have public transport with buses. We have ore industrialization specialization. We got recycling, rec recreational use, and we've got the highway stuff. Oh, and we got an advanced wind turbine, a bus depot, and a cemetery. Cemetery, cemetery, or the wind turbine will produce 20 megawatts when in open water. Oh. Well, we got a lot of open water here. We could use that. Uh, but we have a cemetery for all the dead people here. I don't know if we have dead people he here yet. No, we didn't have any dead people. Let's place him over here, right in the middle of town. Green across the boards. Not nice. No heresies uh, in use. Heresies? Heresies. Heresies. Heres heresies. I don't know how to talk to it sometimes. Um, but we got some ore specialization. Let's look into that. So there was a lot of ore here. That is a long ways away, I have to say. So what we could do is, well, we need some people as well, is make a completely new town here. So have some ore specialization there of industry, some normal industry or general purpose industry next to it, um, and a whole new town here. Just by moving the highway over from there to there. And one of my questions is, can we just extend it here? Well, it don't look really like it. What's a truck doing, actually? Oh, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Oh, we need a lot of people. Look like... No, these haven't found people as well to work. 
Hmm. Let's pause the game. So let's think about it. I want to... Let's let's first build or buy the areas. Let's just check our ore. So there is a lot of ore here. Oh, there's a lot of ore there as well, on the other side of the water. Um... Do we have two areas available or one? Let's check it. We have one here, one there. Yeah, we have two areas available. Okay. What we could do is build here, is buy here and buy there, and then have a lot of wood here. We have some farming here possible as well. And ore here, and then here in the middle, maybe around here, we can have a new town. Just build a new town. And I have a highway going from there to there. Feels like a good decision. Only we need to take care of account of our money, but I think we can really also loan... Oh, 60 grand, that's a lot. So we can loan a total of 80 grand, and I think that's a good thing to do. So, let's do that. Okay. Let's buy this for 5 grand. Has no rail connection, has water and air connection. And let's buy this, has no water connection, but it has a train, it has also notes a train and a highway connection. But we will make one. Like that. Okay, now we can't buy any more space. So that's the way you expand. Just build up terrain. Or buy up terrain. So let's see how this is laid out. The ore is... Oh, here in the flat area. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, There's a lot of here in this hillside. This would be a little difficult to get to because the roads can be too steep. Like this. So you need to build it this way. That could be difficult. But it's nice to try out. But first we can build a lot here because this is a nice flat terrain here. We can do that without any problems. Oh, look at that. It will build a bridge. Oh, wow, that looks nice. Okay, so. First three here, let's let's make the zones first. So, you want first three zones, first forest tree here. Or here. I think there was some farmland here. Not that much, but here, okay. Farmland there, and then living area can be all around this place. Ah, can't make a full smile. I can make this, <laughs> and then one there. Ah, uh, you can chat sometimes. Um, yeah, I guess that's good. So we will have farming there. We have forestry there. We have ore there, and we can have some general purpose industry here. And this will be living area as well. Let's split it up actually. Let's go and have a new district here, which will be general purpose industry. And then this one, oh, let's just delete that one. And then we will move this out to there. We will keep this one, but we'll just new add new ones. And we'll keep the town here as it is. Maybe expand it a little, have a more some more people for this here, for this industry. And then have here build a new area. Completely new area. Okay, I'm almost running out of time, so let's just finish with the roads. So we can make the highways, which will be 70 a cell. And 40 of that one, and this one will be 30. Hmm. What we can do... How much will this cost? 10 grand. How much will this cost? 24. And this is one lane. You need the second lane as well. This one will be 80. Hmm. And this might just be the best decision. Uh, but this is just a speed of 60. They can, this, will, this is slow. Slow going. What I want to do is go here, go with the highway ramps, 
It's a little inconvenient maybe, but just have one strip going here and a second strip going back. It's a small highway, but I think it's better than this one. We can eventually upgrade it to a normal highway, but for now I think that's the best decision we can do. So let's just go from here, I guess. Make it freeform. Like this. Actually, what we should do is have a big road coming over here. Let's see. If we just upgrade this and have a crossroad here from this one. Oh, let's go a little bit further. See if we can just destroy one house here, there, and from here, this one going out. Yeah, okay. And let's have it a little... Okay, we need two roads, so let's... Straight road over here. And one road going back, like that. Oh, well, that looks a little funky. Ah, uh, that's full work. And from here, let's freeform. Go all the way over here. And let's look at the districts. Where will we stop the highway? Oh, that was... No, 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 no. I want this to happen. I think we will just stop the highway right here. No, right here. And from there we can connect everything just by normal roads. So, let's do that. So, around here. And let's go back as well. Like that. Have a double lane. 80 kilometers per hour highway, which is 40 miles. Uh, time 1.5, 6, uh, it's 50 miles, 50 miles. And this one is 60 miles. And from here, we can just go in by normal road. Like... There. And that's the start of our new area. And last thing we need to do is just hook it up. Okay. That's good. So here will be our new district. That will be our first city. We can also, of course rename this, but I will won't do anything with the districts here now. We will get into the districts here later. Uh, first I need to build a little more housing here. I need to save up some money because we have run out. And next episode I will save up and we will start building here. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like on it if you do. It always helps me out a lot. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.